Hello, this is Scantron reporting for the Buffalo Community Voices segment of Buffalo.com. And today we're here with... Sebastian Pillman III. They call me Icon of Buffalo. The Icon of Buffalo? The Icon. Do you have any other names? Yeah, Jackson, Sly, the old man. And uh, what do you think your role is in Buffalo? Oh, a good neighbor. You said Buffalo City, good neighbor. I'm a good neighbor. A good neighbor? What does a good neighbor do? Look after, look after the neighbor. Look after the neighborhood? What yeah. are some, some things that you do to look after the neighborhood? Well, when I see glass in the street, I pick it up. Pick it up? I see paper on the side of my paper. And wh why do you want to be a good neighbor? What inspires that? I'm a Buffalo. I was born here. You were yeah. born in Buffalo? Yeah. Did you live anywhere else besides Buffalo? Yeah, I lived in a bigger city, but I, I, I left here for about eight, 21 years came back. Buffalo only said I'd leave and come back. So what, what were some of the other cities that you that you uh, visited? New Jersey, New York City, Chicago, Indianapolis, Ohio, Canada, and So in the time that you've been alive, what were some of the biggest changes that happened to the world? And maybe the Buffalo in general? The atmosphere, you don't get much snow in Michigan. There's, no, there's not as much snow as back in the day? You're not, you're not, we have cold winters, cold nights. I come up with kids, it's not cold. We have snow, cut houses, we have to freeze. Why do you think it's changed? We're in the freezer. Do you think, do you think it's gonna to go too far? Do you think it's gonna get, there's gonna be no snow ever, it's gonna to get too hot, global warming and those things? I, I love the snow, but I think, we, they say the future will change the atmosphere. Okay. Do you like any uh, artists or musicians from Buffalo? Uh, I like the Rick, um, Rick James. Do you like Rick James? Uh, did you did you ever see him live? Yeah, uh, I knew him. You knew Rick James? Yeah, he did my first cousin. Really? Uh, Do you have any uh, any stories, uh, any interesting stories about you and Rick? <laughs> yeah, he did my first cousin. But I didn't understand, I was young. Uh, I didn't know he was going to be successful. That before he became successful. Oh, so you knew, knew Rick James before. So uh, what do you think about uh, his career? It was, yeah, good career. Yeah, we will have a very good career. Yeah. How about, uh, what What else, uh, what are some of your favorite uh, things to do in Buffalo nowadays? Huh. I walk and just walk. walk. I take a lot of walk. I walk all, all year round. But, no, I miss, I miss some real Buffalo Bills. Back in the 60s. Do you follow the sports now? No, it builds. But then I like these be in the 60s and 70s. What was so good about them back in the 60s? We were number one. <laughs> number one football. Buffalo Bills were number one in the 60s? Yeah. And then I, uh, Were there any players that you liked? Or? Well, the quarterback, Jack Kemp, he passed away. Jack Kemp? Yeah, he was quarterback for Orchard Park. Yeah. He passed away. He, but before when he, when he left the bill, he had bad knees. He became a, he ran for politician, he became a politician for Oh, he became a politician? Yeah, I went and he raised funds for a comic. I got the real close one. He was raising funds for what again? It'd be a congressman. Yeah, oh, be a congressman? Yeah, he was a quarterback for the bills. So and, uh, what, what's, what's some of your favorite food to eat? Baby, I like Mr. Pizza. Mr. Pizza? <laughs> That's your favorite pizza? Yeah, that's my favorite Mr. Pizza. And also, I like uh, panels, cheeseburger, fried milkshakes. Oh, uh, yeah. How, how many times a week do you have, have those panels? Well, uh, I say about once, once a month. I like colds, like colds, you know, cheap cheeseburger. I get them all once a week, three months of my time. A like cheeseburger, cold, cold fried. Okay. And JB both of did you ever do art and music before? Yeah, I did art. But I, 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 I you said like a stabbing art. I, 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 you have to, you have to stab a lot. I, I like art, I love art. Yeah. And um, why were you telling me a little bit about uh, Martin Luther King earlier? Oh yeah, Martin. Martin Luther King. I remember him when he got assassinated. Yeah. My parents, they cried. I watched it on TV. I watched it on TV. With him. But my routine, he had no prejudice bone. But I follow him. But I like the John F. Kennedy too, because he sat for him to come to the wild and shit, man. 
But a lot of people, I guess, John Kennedy, he made, he made history too. John Kennedy. Yeah. And, and did, how, uh, how, oh. did you, how old were you when, uh, when, the, when John Kennedy and Martin Luther King were assassinated? 14. 14? And, uh, and you, you said your parents cried. How did it impact you as a, as a young man? I, I, I look at them. I watch you. And they bust to you. Like you they blood, like you're somebody's family. You call uh, all of yeah. What about uh, Malcolm X? You said we were talking about him earlier. Uh, I, yeah, I, I didn't I agree with him. Yeah. He was president. I didn't like him. The truth. Uh, I didn't like him. I didn't follow him. So, so what do you think about uh, back in the day, back when you were a kid, was there a lot of prejudice still going around? Yeah. What, like, what were, what were some of the difficult, like, what some of the things that... It was the bad thing happening in Buffalo. I, my family, my home run, my first team, my African team, I kids. I mean, you on Facebook. Oh, the kids. Kids, we're pretty team, but the kids, like black kids, getting cut off. White and kids were attacking black kids in no, those days? No, it was a, it was a, it was, this is guy. 22 caliber killer, you heard of them? You heard of that? 22 caliber killer? I never heard of that. He would kill all black people. So shoot there was the a... Shoot the head with 22 that, black people. That was in Buffalo? Yeah, Buffalo. 22 caliber killer? Yeah, him. And that was, what, what year was that? I don't know the guy. He was a, he was a, he was a, he was a guy. Jim Black. Shoot the head with 22 black people. So is there, is there a lot of difference between, uh, between uh, relations between people when you were a kid and nowadays? Or it's different. I left here, matter of fact. So, like, I left here and moved to a big city where we like, I moved to New York City. So you, so you felt you had to move because there was so much... Uh, uh, I was pressure. born here, but I seen it. So I moved to New York City. It was a lot different. It was like that. I seen things in New York City I did. Like, we had a great show. Marriages, what black and white married, and had mixed kids, a lot of kids. I didn't see that here. But in New York, you know, you see all, all the time. Okay. I said, that's what I had to get used to when I was in I lived there from New York to Jersey for 21 years. I seen a lot, you didn't see that here. So that's different. So what do you think about the youth today when you see them? Uh, do you think that they're, they go, do it seem like in general they're going in the right direction? Do you think, you're, are you worried about the youth or what's your opinion of the, the youth today? I think they're going the right direction. Like what are, what are some things you see? It's um, oh yeah, I tell them about drinking water. I tell them about the beer. Some listen to something. So you think, you think there's more drinking and driving from the youth now or less? Yes. Just about the same? About the same. Okay. If you had one thing to say to the to the audience of Buffalo and the audience of the world, what would you like to say to people? Know God is to know yourself. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, uh.